here at the 8th Annual PEG Summit with Dr. Rakesh Dixit, who is the Vice President of Research and Development, as well as the Global Head of Biologic Safety Investment, Pathology, and LAR at Metamune. Thank you very much, Dr. Dr. Dixit, for being here and talking with us today. So my first question for you is, your presentation here at PEGS discusses the challenges and opportunities in biotherapeutics development. Researchers are always looking to solve the big bottlenecks in their area of expertise. So what are some of these challenges with bispecifics development? So uh, if I could say a few things about the bispecific molecules, uh, antibody, they're relatively new. Uh, it's, the concept has been there for a while, um, but the, the successful molecules in bispecific antibodies world has not been there because of difficulty in first in producing them, making sure that you can get activity to do two different target antigens, and also uh, ability to keep them stable, um, you know, for for a for an antibody. So those challenges are being met now, and we are seeing better molecules which have adequate half-life. They're stable enough; they can hit both targets at the same time, and they can actually give us a desired, you know, additive or sometimes energetic efficacy. So these were the challenges, and I think they are increasingly being met. And, and what I'm going to discuss in my talk are, is about the, what are the safety challenges we are seeing with these molecules um, and how to overcome them by either coming up with a different format, by looking at different antigens, um, what we can hit with our antibodies, and, and making sure that we have molecules that, that are drug-like molecules, not just experimental molecules. And so just to piggyback on that, what are some of the most common safety issues that are ex existing right now? One of the issues that we are experiencing and may not be universal to all antibodies, could be unique to targets, uh, looking at the off-target activity of these molecules, that once you make them more multivalent, that means they can hit more target antigens, they may end up in hitting targets that you don't want them to hit, or in the organs which are not your target organs for disease, but also organs that may give you toxicity. So yeah. this is one finding we, we have. The second finding we have that the pharmacokinetic properties of this molecule um, is also getting, getting altered, uh, which means they may have faster clearance from the body, which may not be, a, may not be desirable for, for biospecific antibodies in, in many cases. So bispecific antibodies is a very rapidly developing field, and we've talked about the challenges already. So what do you think that some of the opportunities are, and where do you see the field heading? Well, the opportunities are creating uh, you know, different formats, and, and there are hundreds of different formats are being created. How many of them are going to be successful, first in preclinically and also then in clinical? It remains to be seen. But I, I see huge growth where the companies are creating uh, formats which where we, they can hit multiple antigens uh, at, with the same molecule. Uh, they can they can also enhance in some cases uh, FC interactions to in, to uh, to have more killing power, in, especially in the oncology world. Um, also, in some cases, enhance half life. Um, so so are, there are, there are variety of formats are being 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 uh, created in, in biologics, you know, biospecific biologics. And it's very encouraging news, in my opinion, that in coming years we are going to see formats which will, be, which will have more drug-like properties. And are there any biospecific formats in particular that you're looking forward to seeing that are being developed right now? Um, I like the format Medimmune has developed, of course, yes. And I think uh, we also like the formats which are closer to the way the antibody exists in the body. So you don't make them so artificial that when they are given to humans, they will be immunogenic. You don't want them to be too foreign. You know, you want to keep it closer to the natural format. And this is where I see more uh, research is being done to keep them as close to as possible to the natural format. Um, in terms of what format I like, I think it's still too early to say that because everything is being explored at this point. Well, thank you so much. It's a very exciting field, and we're looking forward to keeping up with your research and the research of the other speakers that we've got at this meeting. Again, that was Dr. Rakesh Dixit of Metamune, and I'm Samantha Lewis with Cambridge Health Tech Institute. Thank you.